After the sad season 14 finale, viewers of The Real Housewives of New Jersey were hoping for some sanity from the women. Regretfully, they were unable to stay together long enough to shoot together. The season so made a distinct mark in the sand. But some of the stars appear to think they have a crystal ball, suggesting that they will soon return. However, Bravo has yet to choose the cast for the upcoming season of Real Housewives of New Jersey, which makes these eager women look dumb. Last week, Jennifer Aiden made a social media remark that alluded to a season 15 contract. With a Botox face, Jennifer spoke with her followers on her Instagram Live over the weekend. She was criticized nevertheless by several, one of whom said they didn't want to see her back for season 15. Oh, I'm sorry. The Paramus resident laughed, adding, I'll be back. Jen appeared to be reaffirming what one internet source had previously attempted to disseminate. The rumor mill claims that Dolores Catania, Teresa Giudici, and Jen herself are all making a resurgence. We haven't done anything at all. Well, we have done a lot, Bravo mogul Andy Cohen replied, abruptly cutting Jen off. However, that's not, no. I'll wait till I receive a, I hope she's doing okay. Hold off until Bravo or I speak. Oh no. How embarrassing. Jen was known for spouting outrageous stories during her tenure, and in the previous season, she was even caught spreading rumors to bloggers. On her show, Melissa Gorga chastised Teresa and Jennifer Aiden for circulating rumors about their previous seasons. I'm genuinely proud of it, despite the fact that it's so foolish. The vocalist composed the song. There has never been any mention of Melissa Gorga remaining. That has never been spoken once, so Bravo and everyone else should know that it's not me who tells the stories about the people and plants, she continued. The viewpoint of Melissa Gorga is not wrong. Jen's action appeared to be an attempt to grab attention for herself, as if she was attempting to cling to her little moment of fame. And Melissa went on. Some of the stories that are surfacing again concerning our program are amusing, such as, oh, these three are staying, everyone else is going. How in the heck is that? It is so foolish. Feeling uneasy for Jen, the semi-OG said, I just think it's so crazy. I say, just leave it alone. What is the source of these stories? I would want to reiterate to my audience that the rumors are untrue. There is no choice. They are untrue, and it isn't genuine. At 30 Rock, they're not even talking about the Real Housewives of New Jersey, in my opinion. They do not. So that's all. Let's see how many times we read it about a select three people since it's so amusing. Andy has stated that Bravo has placed Real Housewives of New Jersey on hold. That someone is attempting to spread a false story, particularly a few Garden State celebs, is annoying. If we had our way, we would axe everyone trying to re-enter the network. The concept of giving supporters a false promise harms the entire franchise. Besides, it appears to prove that you can't trust those particular people. The network and the cast should be in accord. Or at the very least, present a united front to the public. The conversations suggest that it is more of a D-list series than an A-list one. Even while it was previously obvious that Jen and Teresa wanted to continue to be well-known, this crazy media frenzy should just serve to emphasize why they shouldn't be in the remake. Bravo should be able to make the right decisions. It is fair to assume, though, that they are upset with Jen for suggesting a solution. Hopefully, the network will decide correctly in the end.